Good morning. Happy Monday. It's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. And you know what? It's September 30th. I really need to make a video about the Mystery Yarn Challenge for October. But I got a craft show on September 28th. So everything was like craft show, craft show, craft show. Focus. Okay, craft show is over. Mystery Yarn Challenge. 1024. Two options again. First option, as usual, put together a package of yarn, send it to someone, and someone will be sending you a package of yarn. Try to get like three, four colors that go together in that package, and you need to make something that uses all of the colors. So then once you are done, you can send me a picture of the yarn that you received and the finished project. And you are entered in the spinning wheel for a prize once all of the entries are in. And just a side note, if you're still working on September, don't worry. I'm not closing out September yet because unfortunately there's still one person who has not received her yarn. Hopefully she will get it today. So until she finishes her project, September is still open. Okay. And because of that, the deadline for letting me know that you are participating in option one is this Thursday, October 3rd at 4 p.m. Eastern. That's it. Seriously. 4 p.m. Thursday, October 3rd. Because Thursday night, I will do the matchups and get the emails out. Hopefully this time I will remember to send it from my Penguin Place Crafts email instead of my old Free Sell, Pe yeah, Free Sell Penguin email. That is my primary Gmail account that I opened up you know, when Gmail first started to be a thing. And then I did the business email. I have them linked so that all of the emails that I get at my business address come into my primary email, which shows up on my phone. But I have to like sign out of the primary and log into the business to send email. And sometimes I forget to do that. So you might get an email from either account. Okay, so Thursday night, October 3rd, you should be getting an email with your matchup. Please only sign up if you are willing to get a package out by Monday. Okay, you've got you know Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm going out of town. Friday morning, we're leaving to go down to our daughter's house where I'll be doing a craft show and we're not going to be back for a couple days. But I'm still planning on getting that package out on Monday. You need to Get the package out and send me tracking so that if your person is like, um, I didn't get something yet, I could say, hey, they did mail something. Here's the tracking number. You can keep an eye on it. I, I love having the free service from the Postal Service of informed delivery because as soon as someone gets your package out, if they take it to the post office and they scan it or if they put it in their mailbox and they've got a mail carrier with a handheld scanner who scans it. As soon as it's scanned, you get a notification that that package is coming. Doesn't always work all that well. I just had a package that was shipped from Utah and it wasn't scanned until it got to Buffalo. <laughs> so I'm just like, where's my package? Where's my package? And I didn't find out until the day before it was delivered. Okay, so option one, sign up by Thursday. Promise me you're going to get that package out by Monday. And if at all possible, send me that tracking once you ship the package. Option two. We're playing bingo this month. Let's see. I probably should put something behind this so the back doesn't show through. I made up a bingo board. Is all, all five lines are showing there? So, I do have a blog post up for this already. 
there are 25 squares. Sorry, I didn't give you a free square in the center. I'm not that generous. Some are colors. Purple, I like Halloween-y colors. Orange, purple, green, retro stripe. I love my retro stripe. Candy corn colors. So to fill in that square, all you have to do is make something in those colors. If you made a little pumpkin with orange and green, sorry, no double dipping. You can't cross off orange and green. You have to pick one of them. Sorry. Um, there are three designers in here. Yes, there is blatant self-promotion. I have put myself in as one of the designers. So if you make, and all three of these have free patterns. So I'm not forcing you to buy something. But if you make something from any of my patterns, um, there's a link on my blog to my Ravelry where all my patterns are listed. And also once I update this video, I will, there's a Ravelry link that I put in the description. Um, there's me, there's Katie at Yarn Society. She is, she's, she's wonderful. Hi Katie. She has the pattern for Hildy the Highland Cow that I have made dozens and dozens of, and it's always been a bestseller for me. It shows I sold Perry on Saturday. So she has a lot of free patterns. She has them on her website. She has them. She has YouTube tutorials. Like I said, she's, she's wonderful. She's sweet. So she's one of the other designers. And there is Stringy Ding Ding. Isn't that fun to say? Stringy Ding Ding. I have made a bunch of her patterns and she has a lot of fun stuff too. Um, her Raymond Noodle pattern is one that I've made. And you know, every time I make one of these little Raymond Noodles, that always sells quickly. Um, she has like some puppy patterns. She comes up with a new pattern every couple of weeks and she has some cute stuff and free on her website. So designers. Then the next one is fantasy. I think I need to go into my blog post and define that one. That could be a unicorn. A monster, a Pokemon character, if you make such stuff. I know Pokemons are copyrighted characters. I don't, I'm not recommending that you make them for sale because of copyright issues. But if you have a child who is nuts about Pokemon and you want to make them something, yeah, that's, yeah, that's acceptable. Um, what are the, mermaids, mermaids are fantasy creatures. So, or if, let's see, I'm trying to think of how, I know I, I, I am gearing this towards amigurumi because that's what I do. But I'm trying to think of ways that this could also be for people who make wearables. Like with fantasy, with a mermaid, there's mermaid tail blankets, there's mermaid tail hats. If you did, I've seen like mermaid gloves where you do a scallop stitch or a crocodile stitch so you can this isn't all about amigurumi you can get it into wearables too okay next one penguin because i like penguins see I got a little penguin right behind me right there and there's a penguin looking at me from that wall and there's penguins over there there's penguins everywhere the penguins are invaded <laughs> To the bingo board. Next one is a new to you pattern. Oh, there's lots of new stuff. Just today, I had seen on Cassandra's pay Cassandra's craftably ever after. She mentioned that the Hobie website had three new patterns from Jan Schenkel who is the creative genius behind Friends of Pika Pau. So there are three new Pika Pau patterns, free downloads on the Hobie website. There is an owl 
whose name I will not try to pronounce. I never took Spanish. That looks Spanish. There is Rita Fox. And Joanna, are you ready for this one? Squirrel! Bruno the squirrel. I want to make him. And you know what? The light tangerine yarn that I got from Big Lots. I think that'll work. Okay, so that's a new to me pattern that would qualify for that for that block. I read it yarn society purple color. Two ounces of scrap. Find yourself a two ounce cake of scrap or make yourself up a two ounce envelope and just use it up. Gotta get scrap yarn in there someplace. From a book. Pick out your favorite pattern book or a pattern book you bought and you've never used. Pull a pattern from the book. Make that. Food theme. Uh, food theme. Uh, any little old food thing, you know, make a cupcake, make a pop tart, make a donut. You know, there's lots of fun. Ice cream cone. Snow cone. There's lots of fun patterns out there for food themes. A new to you yarn. Wow. Lori just sent me some new to me yarns that I'll have to be trying out, huh? Just some yarn that you've never tried before. Here's your chance to give it a try this month and give get credit for it. A pet. It doesn't have to be a representation of your pet. Just an animal that is usually a household pet. Cat, dog, you know, loaf cat. Bird, fish, ferret, hamster, guinea pig. You know, there's, there's lots of fun patterns out there that fall into that category. Green is another color. Ombre, another color. I have so much ombre yarn. I, I, and I have a lot of ombre scrap. So I'm very eager to get one out and just have fun with that. Three weight or lighter. Okay, you know me. I don't like working with thin yarn and a tiny hook. So in the rules that I have on my blog post, I say you can hold two strands together to make a thicker yarn. This is leftover yarn from various Timu kits that I've gotten. My plan for this month is to make a striped critter from these yarns held double. Yep. You're going down yarn. And then we have five weight or higher. Sorry. I don't have an option for splitting the five weight yarn in half to make it smaller. But you know, if you if you don't want to do it, there, there's lots of other rows that do not include that. But have fun with your bulky yarn. Creepy crawly. Snake. Bug. Snake. Bug. Lizard. Spider. Is that lizard? You know, just something that you know, can be crawly. And like I said, if you like doing wearables, I've seen snake scarves. Um, you could do a little, oh, there's a gecko hat from Snappy Tots. I usually just do the gecko, but Snappy Tots has, or now is it totally snappy, has Greg the gecko hat where you put a gecko on top of the hat. So there's lots of stuff you can do. Okay, I already mentioned Stringy Ding Ding, Retro Strip, Forest. It's another theme one. Deer, owl, bunny, you know, an animal that you find in the woods. Or if you wanted to make a flower or a tree, you know, there's lots of stuff in the woods. Farm, farm animal. Or if you're really ambitious, make a tractor. But you know, pig, dog, horse, chicken. Dog, dog would be in pets. Donkey. That, that was the D that I was looking for. Halloween. Make a pumpkin. Make a Frankenstein. Make a vampire. Make a bat. Yeah, lots of stuff for there. Or make a hat in Halloween colors. Fuzzy yarn. 
fun fur. Just yarn plush. One like that. What's that? That's another fun fur. Uh, or eyelash yarn. Make a fun project with fuzzy yarn. Motif. A granny square. You could just make a granny square. You could make a special granny square. You could make something like a amigurumi that incorporates a granny square. Hanu the sea turtle is one that I make a lot. It has an African flower motif for the top shell. Because of the holes in the motif, you have to make another shell to go underneath it. But it's really cute and it sold well for me. And the last one was candy corn colors. You don't have to make candy corn. You can make something like the candy corn loaf cat that I made. You could, you could do just about anything with candy corn colors. So that's it. That's the mystery yarn challenge for 2024. You, you could like let me know that you're planning on participating in option two, but as long as you get me a picture by October 31st of the five projects that fill out a roll for you. Now, I know some people don't like to do amigurumi. Did you notice this is just colors? So if you made five projects and those five colors, you're done. You can do more than one row. Um, you know, some people might go for fill a card. I am going to go for fill a card. I'm sorry, I cannot, I can't be like Lori and send a prize to everyone who fills their card. October is going to be a tough month with a very large bill due at mid-month. So we are watching our expenses this month and trying to keep expenses low. So, and my channel isn't monetized yet. I, I am very thankful for every subscriber, my new subscribers and all that, but I am still about 125 subscribers away from hitting the number. I haven't checked my viewing hours to see how close I am with that. So, I, I'm not making money from doing the Mr. Yarn Challenge. And I can't, like, I can't open this up and say, everyone who finishes gets, no. Because that could end up resulting in hundreds of dollars in postage. And that's just not the budget for this month. So, okay. So you can do more than one row. That would put your name on the wheel more than once, but there's only going to be one or two winners. Okay. Okay. This video is really long. Hope my phone has room to do the edits. Oh, bye-bye. So.